The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 22, verses 14 to 23. The Lord's Supper. When the hour came, he took his place at the table, and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you, that from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But see, the one who betrays me is with me, and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it had been determined. But woe to that one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another which one of them it could be who would do this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And now it's time for Bible Quiz Trivia. Question number one. What was the occasion during the Last Supper? Was it A, Thanksgiving, B, Peanut Butter and Jelly Day, C, the Passover Festival, or D, Makeover Festival? The correct answer is C, the Passover Festival. Question two, fill in the blank. This is my body, which is given for you. Blank. Was it A, let's eat? B. Do this in remembrance of thee. C. Do this in remembrance of me. Or D. Just do it. The correct answer is C. Do this in remembrance of me. Question 3. Fill in the blank. This cup that is poured out for you is the blank in my blood. Is it A. New contract. B. New Covenant. C. Lamb's Blood. Or D. Wine. The correct answer is B. New Covenant. Great job listening to God's Word. Give yourself a pat on the back and shine your halo. And now it's time for our fun facts. Do you know that the word Eucharist comes from the Greek word Eucharistia? meaning thanksgiving, it has its origin in Jesus giving thanks at the Last Supper. In our own time, the Catechism of the Catholic Church says the sacrament is called Eucharist because it is an action of thanksgiving to God. The Greek word Eucharistine and eulogion recall the Jewish blessings that proclaim, especially during a meal, God's work, creation, redemption, and sanctification. Now it's time for a transfiguring discussion. The mail call of the Mass is Jesus inside us. What is the effect of the Eucharist in my life? We would love to hear from you. Please feel free to leave us a message in the chat box. Thanks for watching. See you on Holy Thursday. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Click on the bell icon to receive notifications about new episodes. If you have a YouTube mobile app, Please turn on your notifications to let you know when new videos are released. Always remember that as we live the good news daily, then every day can be a Sunday. And don't worry about tomorrow, because God is already there. God loves you.
and he has an eternal plan for you and your family.